Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is on unit fractions of a whole. Okay, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. If you get a chance, would you hit like on this if it's uh, helping you guys, and that helps encourage me to keep making these videos for you guys. So, here's our common core strand, and our essential question on this is, what do the top and bottom numbers of a fraction tell us? Alright, so, um, a fraction is just a number that names parts of a whole, or part of a group, or a whole part of a group, okay? So, here here we have a fraction uh, one-fifth, and that's how you say that, one-fifth. So one over five is one-fifth, okay? And then the top number, uh, which is the one here, tells us how many equal parts are being counted from the whole part. Okay, and if you don't know what that means yet, I'll, I'll explain it with a couple of examples here. And then the bottom number, five here, the bottom number is the five, it tells us how many equal parts are in the whole. So here we have one out of five different parts right here. So there are five equal parts in this whole right here, and the one just tells us how many do we have. Okay, a unit fraction uh, names one uh, equal part of a whole. It always has a one in the top part of the, of the fraction. So if the top number is one, it is called a unit fraction. Like this one here is called, uh, one-fifth is called a unit fraction because the top number is one. Okay, and uh, and that's what we're going to be using in most of this lesson here. So here we go. Uh, Beverly's family um, uh, are sharing some pizza, and they cut it into six equal pizza, uh, pieces. Beverly ate one piece. So what fraction of the piece did she eat? Okay, uh, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to find a part of the whole. So I've, I've uh, created a circle cut into six equal pieces here, and we're going to shade one of the six pieces. So I'm going to shade this piece right here, okay? So um, uh, we just shaded that one out of the six pieces, and so that is red, one six, okay? So that's what it says, one six. I notice some books don't put the hyphen in there. I've always known to put a hyphen in between it when you're saying that, but it doesn't matter. One sixth, and you write it like this: one over six. So this says one sixth right here. Okay, so she ate. Beverly ate one sixth of the pizza right there. She ate one of the six equal pieces, and see how they're all equal right here. All right, and so uh, she ate one of the six. So here's a unit fraction to uh, find a whole. So this shape right here, this this triangle, it represents one fourth of a whole. So here are some examples of what a whole could look like. So if this is one fourth of it, then we need four of them to make a whole. So it could look like this. See how there's four of them right here? One, two, three, four. So this is one fourth of it. Or it could look like this. See, here's uh, four triangles, one, two, three, four. Okay, it could look like uh, this also. So it just as long as it has four triangles that are the same size, this size right here, this represents one of the four, one of the four equal pieces right there. Okay, so uh, explain how we can make a whole if we know what uh, one equal part looks like. Well, uh, by looking at the bottom number, it tells us how many equal parts are in the whole. So here it was four. It told us there had to be four of them that are equal parts in there. So if it was a five, we just have five triangles on all of these, okay? All right, so, so write the number uh, of equal parts in the whole, and then write the fraction that names the shaded part. So over here, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six equal parts. And how many of the six are being shaded? Well, two of them. So we're going to represent that as two six, okay? Two, two six of, of these equal parts are shaded. There's six equal parts, and two of them are being shaded. So as a fraction, we'd represent that, that as two six. Okay, over here, how many equal parts are over here? Well, there's two equal parts. And how many are shaded? Well, one of them's being shaded. So this one's going to be one over two or one half, okay? And, you, and so... Uh, this represents 1 over 2, or 1 half, you'd say that. Okay, and so there's two equal parts. So you might have some other figures. Just count up how many parts are there, and then how many are shaded is always your top number on that. All right, you guys, I hope that was a nice, easy lesson, and take care.